Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss that how we use Jackson cross cylinder for the astigmatic correction. In Jackson cross cylinder, we have four different steps. The very first step is called bracketing. The next step is called refine axis of the cylinder. And the third one is refine the power of the cylinder. And the very last is the spherical equivalent. Now, the first step of the Jackson cross cylinder's procedure is called bracketing. In bracketing, we will find that our patient either is astigmatic or not. In the procedure of the bracketing, we have to place our handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at different axis. Like, if I place, as you can see, if I place the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 90 degree, as you can see, I placed handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at sharply 90 degree. And when handle is at 90 degree, the axis of the plus cylinder is coinciding with 45 degree, right? And axis of the minus cylinder is coinciding with 135 axis, right? And when, and the good thing about the handle is I can flip it. So when at the same place, I flip the Jackson cross cylinder's handle, the minus line is at 45 degree and the plus cylinder's line is at 135 degree. And now I will place the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 135 axis as you can see. And when I placed the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 135, now you can see the black line which is plus cylinder's axis is coinciding with 90 degree. And at the same time, the red line of the minus cylinder axis is coinciding with 180 degree. And at the same, at the same place, when I flip the Jackson cross cylinder's handle, And when I placed it at, at the same axis as 135, the red line of the minus cylinder is coinciding with 90 degree. And at the same time, the black line of the plus cylinder's axis is coinciding with 180 degree. And now we will perform the procedure of bracketing on our patient. Now before starting the Jackson cross cylinder, the best vision sphere should be established before the patient's eye. And as you can see that, minus 2 spherical is our best vision sphere. And now for the bracketing, we will put the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 90 degree. As you can see that, the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder is at 90 degree. And when the handle is at 90 degree, you can see that the red line of the minus cylinder axis is coinciding with 135 and plus cylinder is coinciding with 45. Right? And this is called position number 1. Now I will flip the Jackson cross cylinder hand and when I flip as you can see that the minus line is at 45 now and the black line of the plus cylinder is at 135. This is called position number 2 and now we will ask the patient that position number 1 is better or the position number 2. With the best vision sphere, the visual acuity of the patient was 6 by 9. And for the usage of the Jackson cross cylinder, we will ask the patient to focus at the line of the 6 by 12. Now tell me, can you see the sixth line on the Snellen chart? Yes. All right. Now we'll put this cross cylinder before your eye. Tell me, the sixth line is clear now at position number one or now at position number two? No, it's not clear at any position. All right. Now our patient have rejected both of the positions, which is position number one and two, when the handle was at 90 degree. Now I will place the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at 135 degree. So when the handle is at 135 degree, you can see the black line of the plus cylinder is coinciding at 90 degree and minus line of the red line is coinciding with 180 degree. And this is called position number one. And when I flip the Jackson cross cylinder at the same place, the minus line is now at 90 degree and black line of the plus cylinder is at 180 degree. Now we will again ask the patient. And now we will ask the patient that the line on the Snellen chart is clearer, darker or sharper or not. 
Now, can you see the sixth line on the scenario chart? Yes. All right. Tell me at position number one, the line is more clearer and darker, or at position number two, it's clearer at position two. All right. Now our patient have preferred the position number two, and the position number two was when the minus line at ninety degree, and when the handle was at one thirty five degree. So our rough axis with the bracketing are ninety degree. So in bracketing, the first we will put the handle at ninety degree. As you can see, the handle is at ninety degree. And when the handle is at ninety degree, we will confirm the axis at one thirty five. As you can see, the minus line is at one thirty five, and plus line is at forty five degree. So we have confirmed the axis, the oblique axis, which are one thirty five and forty five. And when we place our handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at one thirty five, as you can see, now. The plus cylinder line, as you can see, is coinciding at ninety degree, and minus line is at one eighty degree. So, after placing the handle of the Jackson cross cylinder at different positions like ninety degree and for one thirty five degree, we have confirmed our vertical and horizontal axis and oblique axis as well. Hope this is clear about the bracketing. In the very next video, we will discuss about the refinement of the axis of the cylinder.